Welcome into an all new episode of the Players Lounge where we welcome in ECU defensive tackle Alex Turner as the Pirates gear up for a game in conference play this weekend against USF. Alex, thanks for taking a few minutes to talk to us today. I know the team has been busy and facing a lot of adversity this week, but how's the team doing down in Florida? Yes, ma'am, we're doing, we're looking really good as a team, just as a unit, and we're just really bonding and just getting along. And it's just great, it's a good experience for us. What was the reaction of the team when you found out that you were getting on a bus to go down to Orlando and that the Virginia Tech game was canceled? A lot of us, I'd say for the most part, the whole team was just worried about the people on the East Coast. A lot of us was worried about our, um, our families and our friends back home and just how the hurricane was going to affect us. How different has the routine been this week for the team? It has not changed at all. We've been working every single day. This is a business trip and we've just been getting after it at each practice and just making sure we stick to our key fundamentals. While trying to keep that same routine, it certainly has to be a little bit different than what you're used to. What have been the biggest challenges being on the road this long? I'd say it's just the adversity in general, just the, um, coming down to Tampa. It's a different environment, but we're, we've adjusted to it and we're just ready to get after it. I think every single player has adjusted to it and we've been running every day and just working hard. You mentioned this being a bonding experience for the team. How has this team grown closer together this week? I think in general, whenever a team or a family like we have goes through adversity, you just get closer to your brothers and you really come together and start to trust each other more than you ever could. And it's just great. You can see it on the field. You can see it in the way that we have our meetings. It's just really good. Being on the road, obviously school has been shut down this past week in Greenville. What has the academic side been like for you guys? The academic side has been good. Our, um, we have our, um, our academic advisors here with us and they're helping us work through it and um, we're contacting our professors and our teachers and just telling them the situation. Now many people at home may not know this about you Alex but you're a double major psychology and neuroscience so you're not only a great football player but you're doing pretty well in the classroom too. How do you manage that workload? A lot of it for me has to do with organization. I'm a very organized guy. I'm very structured. I like to keep my schedule right and I just stay on top of things. I'm self-motivated. How do you do study hall on the road? Are you working in groups or are you guys doing work in your hotel rooms? It really depends on the, um, the player who, or whether you have classes with your teammates. Like I know some of my some of my teammates have classes together, so they're studying together, they're working together, and just trying to do the best that they can here. Now, I know last year you were experienced personally, a Houston guy yourself from the Hurricanes. How have you been able to use those experiences and those feelings to help your teammates here this week? I think a lot of it just has to do with knowing that the minute you step on the football field, there's nothing you can do but besides play for your family. I mean, once you're on the football field, you can't be worrying about, I hope my family's okay. and. I hope that there's no damage as much as you want to, but once you step on the field, you're playing for your family and friends back home and you just kind of have to pay forward and work as hard as you can. Now this team is coming off a exciting win over North Carolina and then obviously having some extra time off. How is that momentum? How are you guys using that to carry you into this USF game here on Saturday? I'd say we're still hungry. The hunger has to stop. We're, we're working every single day, working just as hard as we did the first week we went into it. And it's just been carrying over every single day and every single practice. Week one looked like a different team than we saw in week two. What is the team that we're going to see here in game three of the season? You're just going to see a more structurally sound team, a more just brotherhood-like team. You're going to see that we've gotten some things worked on and we've gotten a lot of our key just fundamentals kind of critiqued and just perfected. One and one so far on the season, but heading into conference play, it's sort of like a clean slate. How does that change the mentality heading into this game? I don't think it really changes the mentality of the team. I think it just keeps the drive going. We're, like I said, we're a really hungry team and we're ready to show everyone what the ECU Pirates are made of this year. What would a win mean to those families back at home that have been affected this past week? I think it would mean everything to them. I know that ECU and the city of Greenville supports us greatly and we really play are going to play for the city. I know this team operates under the motto, work the body, but this week I'm sure you all have been having to work the mind a little bit too to fight through this adversity. Why is this group capable of overcoming these challenges? 
we're capable of it because of our mentality. The, I mean, the most important muscle in the body is the brain, and it's the mentality that we have to work the body each and every day and put the work out there. And it's called sweat equity. We put it out every single day. Thank you so much, Alex, for your time. Best of luck to you and your team this weekend as you begin East Division play at USF. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks again to Alex Turner for joining us here for our first edition of the Players Lounge. You can catch ECU and USF Saturday night. That's an 8 p.m. Eastern kick on ESPN News. We'll have highlights and coverage for you right here on the American Digital Network.